because of its high torque density. The axial flux motor has become the best choice for hub motors. Today we will introduce its working principle. Unlike traditional radial motors, this motor uses the interaction of axial magnetic flux to achieve rotation. The motor consists of a stator and two rotors. The winding method of the stator is different from that of traditional motors, and the front and rear end poles and S poles are formed when power is applied. When the electromagnetic field of the windings starts to spin, the two rotors also spin in sync. What are the advantages of this motor? Obviously, given the same external dimensions, the core advantage of an axial flux motor is that the diameter of the rotor is larger and it rotates along the stator instead of inside the stator. Torque equals force times radius. Axial flux motors can achieve more torque with the same force. This means that axial flux motors can deliver higher torque for the same amount of permanent magnets and copper winding material. Axial flux motors offer a 30% higher torque density advantage over traditional radial motors, opposite to the high performance. The axial flux motor has high cost and high manufacturing difficulty, which restricts the application of the axial flux motor. Even though Faraday invented the first electric motor as early as 1821 as the axial flux motor, the radial flux motor that was born later has been more fully developed. It can be seen from the structure diagram that, unlike the radial flux motor, the stator and rotor of the axial flux motor will attract each other to generate axial force. We all know that metal is tensile but not compressive. The motor is most afraid of axial force, which can increase friction and aggravate vibration, or cause bearing misalignment and fall off, and the shaft will break and the machine will be destroyed. Therefore, the axial flux motor generally adopts a multi-disc scheme to offset the axial force. The axial flux motor adopts the sandwich structure. It is difficult for the middle stator of the dual rotor axial flux motor to dissipate heat, and due to the high specific power characteristics of the axial flux motor, the heat capacity is also small, and it faces extremely serious heating problems. It is necessary to adopt new heat dissipation methods such as immersion oil cooling, oil water composite cooling, liquid nitrogen cooling, and phase change material cooling, and to design extremely complex cooling and sealing structures. Well, that's all for today.